Brian. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Friday. Uh, Tom's out today filling in. He'll be back on Monday. And boy, uh, a little bit of an acceleration, continuation, I should say, of yesterday's action. We make it up to 51.23 this morning on the S&Ps. A little bit of volatility from there. You drop down to 5,095. Right now, we're positive by seven points on the S&Ps. NASDAQ 100, actually slightly in the red by about two tenths percent, off by 39 points. We're sitting above 18,000 right now. We'll jump right to some of the equities. Doesn't look like a lot on this chart, but man, that was quite a pullback. You're talking about almost 5%, man. $823 stock. You pull back $45 in the span of about an hour to $780. Just like that, you're back up $20. With the growth multiples that they are experiencing, you got a little bit of a reverberation trying to figure out where this thing should quite settle. But actually, pretty remarkable. Some of the A to B, C to Ds are actually completing at these price levels. NVIDIA just blew past it, which is remarkable. We're going to jump to some of these A to B, C, D, D formations right now. NVIDIA probably starts that A leg at about 100. 108 is the low there. You make it up to a B point in August of about 502. So just shy of 400 bucks to be exact. What are you talking about there? 392 or something like that. You pull back to a low, okay, of 392. And so you're talking about a $400 A to B leg. You only got a 0.236 retracement on this equity. And boom, just like that, you make 800 bucks. We're sitting at 794. Now, what's interesting is that's NVIDIA, okay? You jump over to the S&Ps. Pretty similar action, which is remarkable on a percentage basis. But nonetheless, the run NVIDIA has had is obviously more substantial. But the A to B, C to Ds are both completing as we speak today. The S&Ps. I bring this up because at some point, folks, I mean, this is getting pretty remarkable that we've just had the S&Ps trade up a thousand points in just under four weeks, four months, excuse me, four months, not four weeks, a uh, thousand points. OK, you get an A to B leg that's about thirty six hundred up to forty six hundred. This one retraces to about a 50 percent retracement. You saw NVIDIA only did the two, three, six. Right. But nonetheless, you see to D. And what do you do? You blow past that B point. Right. That was your huge gap from December 11th. Your C point was down here at about 41.22. You got to love it sometimes, folks. 41.22.25, and we traded a point and a quarter above that at 51.23. Listen, with the way this market moves, who knows where we're going to be even in 51 minutes from right now at the closing bell in terms of the accelerations that sometimes we've had. But just taking a little bit of a breather would not be outlandish when you're dealing with this type of an acceleration. And it is cool how you get the S&Ps line up, right? You have NVIDIA. They just completed theirs. Now, the NASDAQ 100 could go a little bit higher if everything comes in, in terms of where that A to B, C to D leg. Your A to B leg in the NASDAQ 100, you're talking about from a price point of about 10075 up to your B point there, which is 16000 Yeah, so almost a 5000 leg. And then you'd bump from an area of 14,140. So that brings you about 19.4. Your A to B leg, C to D. You pull back to a 382 here in the NASDAQ. So what do we have? NVIDIA pulls back to the 236. S&Ps pull back to the 50% retracement. NASDAQ only makes a 382 retracement. But if you're going to complete that A to B, C to D, the NASDAQ might have another leg in it, man. And you're talking about 1,400 points. Not outlandish for an index trading at 18,000. What is that? seven to eight percent something like that to the upside from here the only problem is you got a little bit of a pullback today so maybe it needs a little bit of a breather you jump to some of the short-term time frames in terms of how we traded at the beginning of the day a lot of selling up here to begin things can't fault somebody anybody in terms of the gains that are in there 185 down to 182.50 for apple shares you're down by a full percent for apple microsoft gives up what seven dollars on the open seven dollars on the open you jump over to Google shares, no real huge move, although they're dealing with their own animal, right? With Gemini, they really haven't experienced the updraft that many other companies have. Meta shares trade down $12 from where it was earlier this morning. Amazon gives up $1.50 from where it was, 174.12. Netflix backs off 20, now 10 bucks from where we were earlier this morning. Some pretty dramatic pullbacks if you weren't benchmarking against yesterday's acceleration, of course, okay? You know, you're down by a third of a percent in the NASDAQ, but you are now off about 160 points. You've given up almost 1% from the top here. 
Again, just be aware, folks, that this run of 1,000 points, you know, in under four months, after we just had another 1,000-point run, okay, that began less than two years ago in March of 2023, you're going to need a little bit of digestion, I think, as we come into what's going to be, looks to be, the, the next revolution of AI technology, of technology in terms of AI, blowing things apart, man. Pretty remarkable. Now, I jump from there. Pretty interesting. This article is up there at the top today. Bezos and NVIDIA join AI, open AI in funding humanoid robot startup. It's like the stuff that like uh, Terminator 2 is built on, right? They could have had that headline somewhere in there in cybernetics. Is that what it is, cybernetics? Uh, Figure AI also gets investments from Intel, Samsung, and Amazon. Listen to these companies, okay? The company's rallied, roughly valued at $2 billion. Do you know this company? I don't know this company. $2 billion company. They're raising almost $700 million. They're getting it from Bezos, NVIDIA, OpenAI, Intel, Samsung, Amazon. And they're coming, folks, okay? I try and imagine in the world of what it's going to be like for my son Tommy when he's anywhere near my age in his early 40s. And you can't do it. I don't think you can really imagine right now the cusp of what we're on over the next 40 years, let alone the next five years, right? So this startup, uh, yeah, raising about $700 million. That puts the valuation at $2 billion, and it's not going to be surprising, man, in terms of they're coming. Everything's coming. I tell you, I'm always joking with my dad in terms of, you know, what's it going to be like, man? Tommy's going to have flying taxis, robots at home doing his laundry or whatever. It's going to be Jetsons in full effect, and NVIDIA is going to be the one that's going to be powering that, at least for right now, until somebody plays catch-up. But nonetheless, they're not there just yet, that's for sure. All right, let's jump over to that gold contract. We got some action today to the upside. Gold. You make a run from October up to 21.52, and we've been chopping around at this area for some time now. Gold, in between a range of about 2,000 and 2,100 since about November. You're right in the middle of that area. But gold catching a little bit of a bid as we get a little bit of a pullback in the dollar index from where we were about 10 days ago, right? Dollar index, February 13th, up at about 105. We're trading at 104. You jump over to that gold contract. Not a coincidence, right? You had gold at about 2,000. Now you're up to 2,050. You got to keep your eye on that dollar index. We'll talk a little bit about that dollar and yields when we get back, folks. We'll take a look at some equities. We'll talk a little bit of Fed speak as well when we get back. Stay tuned.